Hi, I'm Richard with the Data Success Team. Welcome back to Data Edo Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to talk about Data Edo Desktop, which is the app that your editors will use to import metadata and create the data catalog. It's important to remember that only those people who have editor licenses will have access to the desktop app. Everyone else will access the data catalog through the web portal. In other words, desktop is where you create your single source of truth and portal is where you access your single source of truth. Rather than going through the various features of Data Edo, I'm going to show you here the main parts of Data Edo Desktop and talk about using it. On the left side of the screen, we can see the Repository Explorer. Its purpose is to organize your data catalog into sections that are easy to identify and allow quick access for editing. On the first line, you can see the name of the repository that you're connected to, followed by the name of the server where that's located. Below that, we have the business glossaries. We do have other videos that are going to talk more about business glossaries. The rest of the list shows connections to your data sources. If we open one of these, you can see that it shows what type of objects we have in that data source. For example, the AdventureWorks database contains tables, views, procedures, and so on. If we click on an object type, that opens in the main content area a list of all of the objects of that type that exist in that data source, along with some basic metadata. But to get to the real metadata, we open that list and where we can browse for the object that we're searching for. We choose one there, and as you can see, this opens up in the main content area more metadata detail about that table object. This is where editors will spend the majority of their time working with these descriptions, reviewing them, and updating them as needed. Notice there are other tabs as well where we can get to other metadata. For example, here we have a list of all of the columns that are in that table along with their descriptions and titles and so forth. Notice that as I click on different objects in the Repository Explorer, the ribbon at the top of the screen changes to show those activities that are available for that object type. Now let's talk for a minute about subject areas. The best way to think about subject areas is that they are logical groupings of the physical objects in your data catalog. They're presented this way to allow easier access to those people who may not have the technical background to be able to search for or understand the data sources themselves. Department is the most logical way to create these subject areas, but there are other ways as well. For example, what if you had several editors responsible for different parts of your data catalog? You could very easily create a subject area for each one of the subject matter experts and associate those objects that they're responsible for so that they can very easily find what they're looking for and track the progress that they have made towards those. And while we're talking about progress, Let's look at this feature right up here where we can show the progress of descriptions being completed for the various objects in the data catalog. You can see we're doing pretty well on these. By default, this does list all of the descriptions, but you can change that to other attributes as well. For example, if we choose subject matter experts, we can see that we definitely have some work to be done in the area of subject matter experts in this catalog. There are many other things we could talk about regarding Data Edo Desktop, but this is enough to get you started. We do have other videos that will talk about specific tasks, such as creating a repository or connecting to your data sources. But for now, let's take a quick break and come back in a few minutes to talk about license management.